Hey there, welcome back to Elysium. My name is Ellie and it is 4.30 in the morning, which is one of my very favorite times to be awake, but usually because I stay up that late, not because I get up that early. I'm here at the airport. I made it through security. I made it through the really long check-in line. And now I am waiting to be boarded on my flight. I am going to the West Coast. Specifically, I am flying to Seattle today. Seattle is one of my very favorite places I've ever been, possibly because I've lived all along the eastern seaboard and as far west as Nebraska, but I've never gone further west than that. And I think that's why I love the idea of the Pacific Northwest. It's unconquered territory for me. But just going to Seattle is not the best part of the trip. The best part is I am going to hang out with one of my very best friends. We have been planning to hang out for years now, literal years, and finally we have an excuse and the excuse is that I bought him a longboard for his birthday and I didn't want to ship it out here so instead I bought a plane ticket. <laughs> So it's going to be a really fun trip. I am so excited just to get on that plane and get going and I will keep you guys updated as to what we're doing once we get there because we have lots of super fun plans. on a train from Portland to Seattle right now. This is my friend. I'm Zach. We're finally hanging out together after years and years of actually talking about doing this. We met on an online forum. For? And for Super Smash Brothers <laughs> video game from Nintendo. And we talked and talked and became good friends. We went from the transition of MSN Messenger to Skype. Like we've we've been we, doing this we've, for a long we've time. We've been on a wall. How long? How long have we been friends? Nearly a decade. It's like almost half my life. So this is like that's crazy. It's been like seven years we've been talking about like actually hanging out together, and it just never lined up right until finally I decided, you know, I'm gonna get him a longboard, and then I just didn't want to pay thirty five dollars to ship it. So I was like, no, we're just gonna like go on an adventure, and I'll give it to you. I still have to learn how to ride it. I crashed it once. That's okay. That's once more than I've crashed mine. But then again, he's better at it than I am already. So we'll, we'll advance together. <laughs> Longboarding. So we're kind of going on adventures. I don't know if this is going to come at the beginning or end of the video because we actually forgot to film like the intro before. Get in there. But um, we've been on some adventures already, and there are more still to come. We are on the ferry. We're headed to Bainbridge Island. We're going to Bainbridge. We don't really know what we're gonna do when we get there. We just really wanted to ride the ferry. We're going through the storms. It's been raining all day, like all morning anyway. And now it's finally kind of nice, so we decided to do something outdoors. Riding the boat. So we are going to a Night Vale live show tonight. Hey. Are, you, are you excited about this? I'm Carlos. Are you a scientist? Yes. I'm Cecil, which is kind of not very the typical Cecil, but it's my Cecil that I've designed. So I'm very excited. I've been to the librarian two years ago, and then last year I went to the investigators. So this is going to be my first time seeing ghost stories, but this is going to be his first time at a Night Vale show. First time ever. Are you excited for it? I'm excited. No Carlos, but I will be Carlos. <laughs> you will be enough Carlos for the entire show. They won't let me on stage. They should. They, they should. really should. <laughs> About cosplaying. When is the last time you did cosplay? Last time I did cosplay was Prince Caspian. Back in the Narnia at, days. At, at the movie, Midnight Showing. Did you have a cape? Yes. <laughs> I remember the, the cape photos was of legit. this. <laughs> it yeah. me up though. It was legit though. You look good. You look good now. Thank We're you. set to so go. You. Thank you. We're so excited. So we're at the theater. Hey. We just sat down in our seats. Oh. We have really good seats actually. We 
actually already saw Cecil outside, but we were kind of trying to respect his boundaries, so we like didn't approach him. But it was yeah. really cool. We were like, oh, that's Cecil! And so it was really exciting. Yeah. Are you totally excited? I'm excited. It's gonna be so much fun. So we just got back from the live show. What did you think of it? I loved it. What was your favorite part? Um, hmm. I like the guy with the ukulele. Mm, Jason Lovely was there and they had so many fun guests. They unfortunately, there was no Carlos, but you know, no. the whole episode was amazing and left me kind of a little teary and... It was emotional. It was very wonderful. It was really good. We had fun. So I recommend you go see Ghost Stories. If it's coming near you, it will be amazing. So now we're dead tired. It's so late, especially for me. I've been up almost 24 hours now. Sleepy time. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Do any of you guys out there know why this is called Carl's Jr. out on the West Coast and literally anywhere else in the US it's known as Hardee's? Because it's the one restaurant in my town and I'm just kind of concerned. <laughs> restaurant right now. Neither of us have ever had sushi before. Nope. So we're being adventurous. We're in Portland. We're being adventurous together. Yeah, we had to ask like what to get because we've never done anything. What any is of happening? This. Also, we were eating the edamame wrong. <laughs> so we had to like see someone else eat it to understand how to eat it. We're good. We're adventuring. This is really fun. <laughs> Yeah. Way too slippery. Are you having better luck with this? Nope. Our very first sushi experiment. Looking good. My first sushi. You excited? Yes. Lots of feelings. <laughs> hey! We have fun donuts from Voodoo Donuts because we waited in line and it was totally worth it. We got to take a lot of selfies in front of the sparkly bricks and they had good music playing. It was really fun. This is a Tang donut. I say if it's good enough for the spacemen to eat, then it's good enough for us. It has marshmallows too, so I mean, you can't really go wrong with marshmallows. And it's in a donut. This is, what is it, chocolate? Chocolate and cake. Chocolate chips and... Sprinkles, icing, the whole, everything good. Yes. In one donut. And then we have like sprinkles, and then we have like raspberry and stuff. So that was really fun. So we are now to the segment of the trip in which we will have donuts and Downton Abbey. <laughs> it's apparently a theme now is me making people watch Downton Abbey with me. It's like- it's a Good show. It is, yeah, it's good and it's infectious. Everybody who like starts it has to finish it. So now we have our donuts and Downton Abbey. Soon we go back to the train station and Zach's gonna go home and then tomorrow I'm gonna go home and it's gonna be really sad but we hiked all the way up from the Space Needle all the way up to this park where we can see the, the water, the islands, the Space Needle, the city. So have you had a fun time Zach? We did. We made it. It's exciting. Yep. It's been like the trip of the summer. I'm so happy that I got to come out here and that he got to meet me out here. 
best weekend ever. So now we have to have another fun trip in the future. So we got, we're already like planning. Definitely gonna happen. Yeah. So thank you guys for coming with us on this adventure. Uh, if you ever make it out this way, we absolutely recommend trying the sushi and going to the Space Needle. Yes. And seeing the fun, the fun sights of the city. And also go see Ghost Stories if it's still on tour near you. So thank you for watching. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And we'll catch you later. Peace. What does it taste like? Dang. <laughs>